Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, I upload three videos a week, beauty, lifestyle, and Bible. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Okay, so for today's video, I know I'm starting it off looking a little bit weird because I got on brows, lashes, and eyeshadow, but it's because today I am doing my sweat proof foundation routine. Sweat proof, life proof, wet proof foundation routine. And so really, this is just my makeup in general. I mean, I don't do anything special for my brows. I might use a pomade and set it, but usually I just use a pencil and then I go back, I'll go over it with the gel. And then for my eyeshadow, something that really helps it like lock into place is this e.l.f eyeshadow primer and I have mine in the shade sheer and this one's really really good so I mean like it really does help lock your shadows in place so now that we have that let's go ahead and get into the face okay so one thing that I've noticed has made a really big difference in my foundation routine within helping everything just stick and adhere to my foundation and it's the first thing that we'll be going in with is this wet and wild photo focus primer serum and this retails for about $6.49 $5.49 some ballparks in that range all the prices will be on the screen like always so what we're gonna do is get our hair out of our face Whew. and then I okay so when this this syringe you literally only get that much and that's how much I put on my face so I just put it on my hands and then I just apply it all over my face and I am breaking out right now I started using um, a PMD and it's like my skin flipped out but then my cycle also started so I don't know if it's the PMD pulling everything out of my skin or if my cycle just made my skin freak out but yeah, I got some pretty bad breakouts right now, so ignore those. Just make sure you rub it in really good just until it's all absorbed into the skin. You can even take a little bit down your neck since you usually do want to drag your foundation down just a little bit. Okay, the next thing that I go in with is my Urban Decay Optical School Illusion Setting Primer. Now, this is just going to help your makeup look smooth all day long. So, you just want to fill in your pores with this that's that's it that's that's all that this is for it's just for it to help your skin look smooth all day long so we're just going to take that much and we're just going to start putting it in our problem areas and whatever excess we have take it down the chisel okay and then last but not least i do always spray my face with something i do want this look to be more affordable so that way it's accessible for everybody so the set the primer spray that i'm going in with is my wet and wild photo focus Cum cucumber three in one primer water so usually after I do all the priming, it's the time where I go into my eyes and I do my eyeshadow. But to save time today, I did all of that first. But usually after I prime, I will go into my eyeshadows and I'll give it about just that amount of time to let all the primers soak in and sink into my face. And I feel, I really feel like that really helps like your skin just really be super prepped. It's just giving it that time to wait. So on a normal basis, I will do my eyeshadow after I prime and then go in with my base products. So one foundation that I've felt is great and it wears beautifully throughout the day, even once it starts to wear off, it doesn't wear off blotchy, patchy, it doesn't cling or anything like that. And that is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, the dewy version. And I have mine in the shade Cream Beige. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to my face. Okay, so I I personally like to apply my foundation with a sponge. If you like to apply your foundation with a brush, go ahead. I like a sponge because I have dry skin and I just don't like the look of a brush. I feel like it's a little bit too heavy for my skin. So if you like to apply with a brush, keep it with a brush. The It's the products that really make a difference, not so much the application of your applicator, I guess you could say. So we're just gonna go ahead and blend that in with our June & Co. Um, microfiber beauty sponge. Okay, as you can see, this foundation does not play when it says dewy. So obviously setting and things of that nature and the reason for kind of this pore minimizing primer is also gonna help with kind of keeping your natural oils at bay as well as setting it down with something. Okay, so like I said, it's really the products that matter the most. So 
for highlighting, contouring, blush, highlight. What I like to do personally is I like to go in with other cream or liquid products to do that and then set them down with the powder. And like I said, once it wears off and the way it's going to wear off is like you could go to the gym. Let's say you go to work, you have your makeup on all day, you go to the gym and then you have a date. Your makeup will still look perfect by that time when you do it this way. So I'm just going to take the tiniest bit of my LA Girl Pro Conceal and I have mine in the shade Chestnut and a little bit of this goes a long way you guys. So if you do pick up this one, just be very careful within applying it because like I said, a little bit goes a long way so I'm just going to do like that much. And that's pretty much it for the face. And so what I'll take now is I'm just gonna go ahead and take this Profusion Duo Fiber Foundation Brush, and that's just what that looks like. And we're just gonna start blending that out. Like I said, a little bit of this goes a really long way. So we're gonna take some over here to the other side. I did a little bit too much. So what I'm gonna do is take my foundation side and just blend that out on this side to make sure we get that all blended in and perfect. And once again, just go over it with the foundation side of your sponge if you feel like just a little bit too much. Okay, and then we will go ahead and blend out our nose. I'm just going to pinch the brush. Okay. And now for highlighting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go highlighting and concealing my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And this one is in the shade Medium Peach. And for this part, we are going to go in with our sponge and just start blending that out. Like I said, whether you use sponges or brushes is personal preference. It's the products that we're really paying attention to. We're going to take a little bit of that and clean up right here. Just going over that contour just a little bit, just to lighten it up a little bit, because like I said, I was a little heavy handed today. Get off in with this brush and just add some contour back to our nose. Okay, so we're not done with the cream products yet, so I'm not gonna set my face just yet. So the next thing I do and I have been, I like and I have been loving, and you can buy them these little sample sizes too. And so everything's still gonna be affordable and I'll leave the prices for these sizes that I am using. And that is the Lip and Cheek Stick by Milk Makeup and I have mine in the shade Work. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna take this spot that I haven't used yet and I'm gonna rub some on my, right there and I'm just going to dab that to my cheek. Okay, and then that last but not least, like I said, a cream or a liquid highlighter. I happen to have this just because I got it in my BoxyCharm. So whatever cream or highlighter you have, you can do this. I'm using this Yachty London Dewy Sticks. And with this one, if you're not careful, it can lift up your foundation. So I like to take my finger with this one and just tap it on. Wherever you usually highlight. And now that we're done with that, what we're gonna go ahead and do is set our face. So what we'll be using to do that today is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. Don't let the word glow for, um, scare you because it is actually, it does actually kind of tone down all the dewiness and you'll see in just a second because right now I am looking super dewy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and blend out those creases that may have formed while we were doing the rest of our cream product and then just going to take some powder and start setting my face. So as you can see, for the most part, you can still see that there's kind of like a subtle glow from within underneath the powder, but you can still see my bronzer, my blush, and like I said, some of that highlight. And that's exactly what we want because as these powders wear off, you're still gonna be able to see the cream shine through just because the cream is going to last longer than that powder. So what I'm going to do now is for bronzing, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and I have mine in the shade bronzer. Now, we're just gonna go ahead and do a light bronzing with this since we did do that other, the cream contour underneath. So we're just gonna literally just dust this lightly over our face 
So that's all we're gonna do for bronzing. I'm not gonna go in and recontour the nose or anything like that because I like how my nose looks. So that's another thing. It's like you don't, I mean, yeah, it's extra steps for cream, but this is really gonna help your makeup last all day long, even through workouts, sweating. It's gonna be great for summertime, everything. Okay, so the next thing that we go in with is our blush. I'm gonna take this Revlon blush in the shade Naughty Nude. And we will just, you're just going to apply that just a little bit, you guys. And I like to pick colors that are similar to the cream colors that I apply. So Naughty Nude is actually very similar to Work by Milk. So. For highlight, and this highlight on its own lasts all day for a really long time. Sorry guys, didn't want it to rub on my shirt, so I didn't want to catch it. So this highlight, whether you put something on it underneath or not, it's going to last you a really long time. And these are the Wet n Wild Mega, Go Highlight, Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. And this one in particular is in the shade Golden Flower Crown. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my brush that I got from Amazon, and we're just going to apply that to our cheeks. Okay guys, so I did go ahead and apply mascara and I'm testing out this, I have a little sample of this Gucci mascara. Excuse me, I don't know the name of it, but I am testing this out, so that's what I put on. And then I went in, I went in, I went in, oops. I used this highlighter in my inner corner. And then for lips, I used my LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Lip Liner in the shade Keep It Spicy. And then my Wet n Wild High Shine Lipstick in Cedar Later. So now to finish up everything else, what we're gonna go ahead and do is set our face. And something that I had, no, something that I realized that helps my makeup really, really last is this Makeup Revolution Pro Fixing Spray. You can find this for about three dollars. I don't know. I think a lot of people don't like like the medicine-y smell that it gives off. And then I do go in and spray my sponge with the Elf Glow Dewy Mist, and then. Yeah, so I'll spray, you guys know, the butt of my sponge with this, and then I'll go over my face with this. And then you just press it in. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I will do a check-in at some point and show you what my makeup is looking like after my workout. And so I hope that this helped you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I will leave the prices of everything on the screen. But you guys, this makeup has, I mean, we're kind of housebound now, but whenever we would go to the gym, it would last through my cardio, my weight training, and the steam room for 15 to 20 minutes. And I would still get out, just dab my face, and you could still like it still looked almost perfect. I'm not gonna say perfect, but like I would still be able to go out and do things and look really decent and people probably wouldn't even be able to tell that I was sitting in a steam room and did an intense workout. So let me know if you try this out. Let me know what some of your favorite products are for makeup that lasts all day. But with all of that, you guys, I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you would want to see more of me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.